Creations and I am back and I've got a haul, a witchy haul for you guys. So I went to, I needed some retail therapy y'all. That's what I'm saying, like I needed to purchase some things. I didn't need any of the things but I just needed the therapy. So, <laughs> so I went shopping. <laughs> I went to Barnes and Noble the other day and got myself a coffee. I walked around, I sat on the floor. Like I sit on the floor at bookstores, like, come on. Um, you gotta check out the book before you buy it. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I bought a bunch of books, including some like journal type things. And then I also went to Michael's. Um, there was a reason, oh, I excuse me, I went to get some organizational type things for um, my business. Like I wanted some kind of like drawer cart thing to like put my crystals in and stuff. And so I bought that, but then <laughs> I bought more stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I got from Michaels first. Um, and then I'll turn the camera around um, in a minute so we can look at the, at the books. So first, everybody's getting decked out for Halloween. Um, it's Samhain, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hi guys. Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel. My name's Lisa. <laughs> On my channel, I like to do lots of witchy things including um, get off topic and also uh, witchy hauls, which I don't do enough of those, but you know, I spend tons of money doing, getting my boxes. So like, I don't always get to get hauls, but anyways, okay. So Michael's, they are decked out and they had things on palmistry and tarot and I was like, yes. So we just had that palmistry um, box from the witch's moon. I think it was the witch's moon. Um, and there was the artwork and I actually have this palmistry thing right here too. This was temporary, I just threw it up there. I might put, um, I might put, I don't know if I got, anyways, we'll see. So hopefully you guys can, I'm gonna have to do this cause they're big things I'm gonna show you guys. So first I got this and it says fortune and fortune telling. So we'll put it back here and then let me bring it up close. Look how cool, look how cool that is. And so yeah, it's a little hangy thingy. Um, I don't know if I wanna put that there or not. I actually just got my old altar table back from my ex-boyfriend and um, I'm getting that all set up in my bedroom. Um, cause I needed that table back. I needed it back. I needed the table. Um, I needed to get a space that wasn't just my YouTube, um, so that I could, you know, do some witchy shit. Some witchy shit. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I think I'm going to hang this stuff above my altar. We're going to find out. We'll see. So then I got this hangy thingy. I'm going to bring it back here. So it says tarot. So there's the top of it. It's kind of hard to show you guys. <laughs> Tarot readings. How cool is this guy? So it's a, it's another like hangy thingy. It's gonna go somewhere probably. I mean, that could be cool, but you won't be able to really see it in the video. So whatever. Um, I think again, it's just gonna go in my bedroom. My bedroom is like, this apartment really is too small for me and my son um, because like my office for work, my bed, and now my altar, my big altar is going to be in my bedroom. Like there's no room. Okay. Then I got two of these like, they're not, well, they're kind of canvas, but anyways, look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's gonna be kind of hard, like I said, because my desk is right here, so I can't, or my, my little altar is here. So, look! What does it say? It said, ooh, I'm gonna fall. Life, death, love, past, present, future, fortunes told, futures unfold. Ah! Uh, so this was like Halloween decor, but I'm like, that's my aesthetic, y'all. It's just my aesthetic. So. All right, so we got that one. It's gonna go along with the um, the other little palmistry thing, and then we got another um, thing that matches that. That's tarot. Again, it's like super big. This one's way bigger than the other one. So it says um, uh, fortunes, see the future, revisit the past. Let me see if I can get it in here so you guys can see. You see all the? Um, is it the major arcana? Yeah, the major arcana is around the eyeball. 
How cool is this? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, and it's obviously a hangy thingy. So. Okay. So there is that. So I'm trying to get organized um, so I can move some of my witchy shit into there. Um, I need to get a shelf too so I can put like above and put my decks and stuff. Like I got a whole like thing in my mind of what I want to do. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be going through all of my stuff and getting my, um, my giveaway ready for you guys. So it's coming. I'm just, I got a lot of shit going on. Okay. So I'm going to show you each of the little booky things that I got. And then, um, I will turn the camera around and we can kind of dive in a little bit for some of these. Cause some of these we're going to have to dive in. Let me, um, tell my phone to shut up. Is it anybody important? No, it's not. It's cool. Okay. Now, first off, this is not exactly witchy, um, but I saw this. It was probably like in the bargain bin or some shit. I don't think this is new. It can't be. Um, no. <laughs> no, this isn't new at all. It was copyright 1977. I mean, I figured this was old, but it was like, I don't know, it was sitting out somewhere and it was just like, Lisa, get this. Get it. So I got <laughs> the Amityville Horror Book <laughs> because I've never read it. Um, maybe I'll start this tonight. It says, uh, on the front, the phenomenal bestseller that stunned the country, the Amityville Horror by Jay Anson. And then there's a little thing by the Kansas City Star. This book will scare the hell out of you. It better, damn it. Um, I like scary stuff. And seeing as how this is a true story, that's always fun. So, we're not going to, like, dive into this. You guys want me to read you an excerpt? No, probably not. So, anyways, I just wanted to get, like, a scary book so I could be, like, you know, reading late at night and stuff. All right, and then I got this, and none of these books, I don't, I don't think any of these books are like new. Um, I don't think. You've probably seen them. Who knows? Maybe not. Then I got this Dreams Unlock Inner Wisdom, Discover Meaning, and Refocus Your Life. So, whoops, I keep falling off of my desk. <laughs> Or I keep calling this a desk too. This is actually one of my altars. It's just my smaller one. So the cool thing about this, so I actually have by the same publisher, this astrology book that they've got right here. It says astrology. And it, if you get it through Barnes and Noble, it comes with um, like astrology, like flashcards almost like. Um, so here is the book and it comes with a journal. So, um, my dream journal. So this is something that we're going to turn around and I'll kind of show you a little bit and we'll look at some of the pages in here. So I love that it's the box set. I would assume that the journal only comes if you get it from Barnes and Noble. I will leave links below for all of the things that I got in case you guys are interested. Um, and I feel like they've got, they've got a dreams one. They've got the astrology and yeah, I actually did the tarot one in my last book haul. Um, it comes with a tarot deck. So, all right, I guess I'll just set this right here. And then, okay, this is such, this is not a new book at all. Not a new book at all, but I got Psychic Witch by, um, what's his name? Matt Aaron. I, I think that's a guy. And I also don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he's coming out with a new book. And this has been in my wish list for like 10,000 years. So I was like, I need to get this book, read it. So then I could get the next one. No, I don't know that you really need to, like, it's not like a series or anything, but I just felt the need to, um, to get both anyways. So which the other one's not out yet, but it's in my cart. I think it's a pre-order and I can't remember honestly when it comes out. So anyways, this is Psychic Witch, a metaphysical guide to meditation, magic, and manifestation. So that is my next book. And then, this is a new book, actually, and I don't know that it's going to give me anything new, but I was still excited to get it. So I got The Night School. This is by Maya Toll, and it says Lessons in Moonlight Magic and the Mysteries of Being Human uh, by Maya Toll, illustrated by Lucille Cler Cleric. I don't know. Um, so actually... Maybe whenever I turn the thing around, I'll read to you the little, like, thing about it. So, but Maya Toll, and I don't know that she's still doing it, but she ran, like, a witch camp for a long time. I feel like she's not doing that anymore, but don't totally quote me. Um, I've gone to one of her witch camps. Um, it was an online thing many moons ago. 
All right, my next book, since I got the dream interpretation book, I decided to get this as well. So it's 12,000 Dreams Interpreted, and it is thick. <laughs> it is by Gustavus Hindman Miller. Okay, so anyways, I will, I'll read the back of this here in just a little bit. That's a big book. All right, and then, you know, I like, I don't need any journals. I don't need any more, but I got more. So I got the Astrology Journal, A Celestial Guide for Recording Your Cosmic Journey by Mecca Woods. Um, it looked pretty cool. So I was like, girl, I'm gonna get it. Um, I think that she has something to that you can get to go with this, but I can't remember what it was, if it was like a deck or something, but I didn't get it. Um, and I don't remember why, but anyways, we'll take a look at this journal in just a minute. And it's a hard cover, which I appreciate. And then also this isn't new, um, but it is the Modern Witch Tarot Journal by Lisa S Sterley. I don't know how, if you say that. It's got cellophane over it. We'll open it up in a second. But it goes along with the Modern Witch Tarot deck, which I also don't own. I almost bought it. I guess I didn't get it. I was going to get it, um, but the deck looked like it was, the, the one at the store looked like it was like a display deck and had been opened a bunch. So I was like, where? So maybe I'll get it. It's an old deck, but um, it goes along with this. So we'll see how I feel about it after I get into this um, journal. But I just thought this journal was really pretty. So we'll open this up and take a look in case you guys have not seen that. And then this has also been in my um, my cart forever on Amazon. So I just went ahead and got it, but it's called uh, WTF is Tarot and How Do I Do It by Bakara Wintner, owner of Everyday Magic. Oh, okay. I didn't know that she um, had a store I guess it's a store. I'll have to take a look at that or, or website. So, um, you know, you can never have too many tarot books. I'm just saying. So, and then, as if I um, don't have enough journals, I bought another one. <laughs> but this looked a little cool and different. So it's 150 prompts for single card tarot wisdom. The one card tarot journal by Maria Sophia. Maria Sophia. Um, Marmonides. Marmonides. So this is the next one. I think that's all I bought. So I am going to turn this video around and we will take a look inside these journals and books. So BRB. Okay guys, so this was the first book that I showed you. And again, this isn't a new book. I just wanted a scary book to read. <laughs> so Amityville Horror, and it says on the back, the shocking true story of an American dream that turned into a nightmare beyond imagining. In December 1975, the Lutz family moved into their new home on suburban Long Island. George, George and Kathleen Lutz knew that one year earlier, Ronald DeFeo had murdered his parents, brothers, and sisters in the house. But the property, complete with boathouse and swimming pool, and the price had been too good to pass up. 28 days later, the entire Lutz family fled in terror. This is the spellbinding, best-selling true story that gripped the nation. The story of a house possessed by evil spirits, haunted by psychic phenomenon, almost too terrible to describe. So yes, I'm excited because I need a good scary book to read and it looks pretty short. So I think that I can get through this um, pretty quickly, especially if it's good. I could probably read it in one night <laughs> and I have to flip my schedule, which I've been pretty much staying up all night um, recently anyways, just because um, I'm a night shift worker. <laughs> all right, I'm going kind of out of order from what I showed you um, when I first held up the stuff when we were face, you know, my camera was facing me. I can't speak English. All right, so this is 150 prompts for single card tarot wisdom, the one card tarot journal. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what is happening in this book. I really have only kind of skimmed it. Uh, okay, it just talks about Tara a little bit. Ask yourself some questions. So then the thing that I really liked about this, it, it has like journal prompts. Um, so like this, it says, I'm excited to embark on this journey to deepen my relationship with myself, with my intuition and with the universe through tarot. Gently hold the deck in your hands and ask that the teacher 
that is meant to be your guide come forward as the next card you pull. Um, and then it has like date and time, tarot guide selected, uh, card type if it was major or minor, uh, upright or reversed, what deck did you use, what drew me to this guide based on either the traditional definition of this card or my intuition. Here are five to ten keywords I'll focus on with this card. Intuitively, I believe my biggest challenge as I open myself up to tarot in this journey will be at the end of my journey, I want to feel. So lots of really interesting things there. And so I guess they, like each day maybe, they give you a new little journal prompt and then um, further questions for you to journal about the card that you draw. So I thought this was very unique. Hopefully um, my lighting is good enough. I don't know why it looks so dark on my thing. Hopefully it's not as dark as I feel like it is. Um, but anyways, I thought this would be a really fun journal. So lots of cool things in there. And I think that's it. It's just basically, oh, and then there's some things in the back like numerology, uh, putting it into practice. Like it gives you a little thing right here. Like number one, wands would be energy, cups is love, swords is words, pentacles is fertility. Oh yeah? Really? Uh, <laughs> anyways, lots of great things in there and it gives you a little bit more information about tarot cards and it says some things about zodiac very nice okay i'm excited this is going to be a really cool journal i'm going to put on my altar and start working with so there's that and then i got the wtf is tarot and how do i do it so let's see what it says on the back it says a no-nonsense approach to the ancient art of reading tarot you do not need to learn the tarot because you already know it it is from this radical jumping point, excuse me, jumping off point that WTF is tarot breaks down the ancient art of cardomancy. This fresh, except accessible and sometimes cheeky guide sheds a holistic light on how to read tarot from the foundation of magic itself to understanding those tricky court cards to offering readings to others. I'm glad that everybody thinks that court cards are the most tricky. <laughs> All right, where did I go? Um, in WTF is Tarot, author and tarot reader Bakara Wintner unpacks the magic of the major and minor arcana with shamanic wisdom and girl boss wit, illuminating their meaning with thoughtful anecdotes and analogies that reveal how deeply rooted these symbols already are in our everyday lives. We can feel the moon in a howling barefoot run through Prospect Park Accept the grace of temperance in falling in love or a divine intervention, ghost the haters with the six of swords, or identify when it's time to go, excuse me, to let go of an ex with the hanged man. WTF is Tarot offers far more than a refreshingly candid tutorial on card reading. Bakara goes on to investigate the magic of crystal healing, chakras, meditation, and other magical practices. This young witch offers not just a guide, but an invitation for even the most mundane muggles to welcome magic into their lives and for experienced wizards to rediscover it once again. Very good. Um, so everything is just you know, black and white in here, but it gives you a little kind of drawing of each card. Oh, and there's some spreads. Okay, very good. So again, I've had this in my wish list for a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and grab it. All right, now we've got the Modern Witch Tarot Journal. Let me find my X-Acto knife so we can open this up. Whoops. And it goes along with the Modern Witch Tarot deck, which I do not own, but possibly after using this journal, <laughs> I will want to own it. All right, so on the back it says, take your tarot readings to the next level. Modern Witch Tarot Journal is far more than a guidebook with sections on card meetings, build your own personal reference guide, and log your reflections on each card. Tarot readings, record your readings and interpretations with space for shorter and more complex readings. Tarot spreads, collect your favorite spreads and learn how to create your own. 
Tarot decks, keep track of your inventory, wish list, and deck reviews. Excuse me, interviews. Books and online resources, keep track of your favorite tarot decks, websites, and social media accounts. Tarot circle, keep track of people in your tarot circle, as well as professional readers, meetings, and events. And it says compatible with all tarot decks. So, let me get this little doodad off of here. Maybe. Okay. All right. Oh, cute. On the back, it has the little modern witch logo. And it's like kind of like pleather. <laughs> it's like leathery. I really love it. All right. And so it's going to have pictures from the actual deck. So that's really cool. So I may like really fall in love with it from here and want to get it. All right. It gives you a little introduction. They all look like superheroes, don't they? Like superhero chicks. Love it. So keywords, reflections, correspondences, reversals. All right. And then, okay, so you can go ahead and put like your own keywords, correspondences, reflections, and reversals. So I guess that's what it was saying in the beginning. So you're going to be putting your own kind of meanings in here or what you learn to make your own little thingamajigger. All right, let's move back here and it's got a ribbon. So once you get through your own little thing, you can do, it looks like a two card draw with keywords and reflections that you can write. Um, if you guys are interested, I do sell mini tarot stickers. So if that's something that might interest you, it is in my Etsy shop and I will link that below. I basically made them for myself, but of course, no other people enjoy them. And it's just the Rider weight um, mini cards that I've got, mini, mini stickers. All right, tarot readings, recording your tarot readings. And then it tells you a little overview of how to do that in this thing. So it's got querent, location, query, date, deck, the spread. You can kind of put that here. It's got a little dots. Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. My lighting is crap. Even though I've got like three different lights on here, it just really is annoying. All right, then we've got interpretation. So you've got those bigger readings that you can do there. So let's see the next section. So it looks like we've got an even bigger section if you want to have more information to write down. So it has the querent, location, query, date, deck, um, this big section for your spreads and then a big section for your interpretation. So we've got many pages of that. And then, and then we've got some tarot spreads. And I think this is where you make your own spreads. So they give you kind of an idea there. And this is a spring, summer, autumn, winter outcome and advice. And then kind of a, an example of how that would look. I like that spread. I like the way that looks. All right, and then you would make your spreads here. So title, source, and then um, meanings. I guess you would be putting like, uh, so like this, it says number one would be the path where you are called to tread. Number two, what lies across, obstacles that can arise. So you guys kind of get the idea of that. And then, And then this still says spreads. Does it give you an overview of this now? Okay. Um, I guess this would be like a really, really big spread because it's got like 22 sections. <laughs> and then we've got a section for tarot decks. Um, the name of the deck, the author, if it's a wish list, pre-order, owned or recommended. Very nice. And then apparently we've got more, what well, says decks on it. So I don't know if this is more like a spread too. All right, and then back here, 
books. Okay, so I guess you're gonna put your tarot books in here. Very nice. Wish list owned or recommended. And then we've got what looks like, oh, it says online resources. Query card, so where is my creative potential best made manifest? Okay, oh, this is like a daily challenge. Okay, okay. And then events, if you're gonna do any, um, if you're gonna go to any tarot events apparently, your outer circle, information on people that are in your tarot circle. And that, my friends, is the Modern Witch Tarot Journal by Lisa Sturley. And it goes along with, like I said, the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Okay, next we've got, let me see. There we go, get that in the view. All right, so we've got the Astrology Journal. Excuse me, a celestial guide to recording your cosmic journey. And this is a hard cover. And let's see, so chapter one, basic, astrology basics. And then we've got chapter two, using your journal, part to the journal. Okay. So they're going to kind of give you a little overview of astrology, the elements, the tri uh, triplicities, the quadruplicities, and then a little bit about each sign it looks like. We're going to go into. And then the moon phases. Eclipses, uh, seasonal solar cycle there, retrograde, uh, different retrogrades plus returns like your Saturn return, transits, moving forward, using the journal. All right, and so then this is the actual journal. So it has date, day of the week, and time. So, and then you've got your today's astrology. So what lunar cycle are we in? Uh, what astrological season are we in? Any retrogrades, any eclipses, other events, takeaways from today's horoscope, um, start of the day, how I felt, and then the end of the day, how I felt. And then we've got a reflection page. So did today's horoscope come true? Yes or no? Partially, what happened today? What were my key takeaways from today's experiences? What key astrological events influence today and other notes for today? And so that is basically what all of this is. So you've got tons of days to record. And I thought that was really cool to start really working with astrology as far as like your day to day and being on track with the lunar cycle and seeing how you feel in, in those different cycles. So I thought this was a really awesome journal for that. So I'm very excited to start using this as well. Yay! So that is that. And next we've got our 12,000 Dreams Interpreted. And obviously it's just going to give you a little tidbit on different things in your dreams. I mean... I don't remember my dreams from last night for some reason. Usually I do. Usually I'm really good about remembering my dreams. Um, but we'll look at a few things. So bacon. <laughs> it is good to dream of eating bacon. <laughs> That's what it says. All right. Let's see what else here. Um, envelope. Envelopes seen in a dream are omens of sorrowful news. Oh, really? Um, gasoline. To dream of gasoline indicates that after a short struggle, there will be a successful completion of a task. So it just gives you all kinds of stuff. It's basically like a dictionary of little dream interpretation things. So that is that. I actually saw just a minute ago it said Yule Log in there. So there are some witchy things in here too. So this is pretty self-explanatory. It says a best-selling dream dictionary now bigger and better than ever. Nearly a century ago, Gust Gustavus... Hindman Miller published his groundbreaking masterwork, 10,000 Dreams Interpreted, the most compelling and thorough study of all the symbols that appear in our dreamscape. It's been a classic ever since. Now, popular psychic and medium Linda Shields has updated this landmark book, revising 3,000 of Miller's original interpretations, as well as adding 2,000 entries, uh, excuse me, entirely new entries. 
This helps the book address the issues of modern life, interpreting objects unknown in Miller's time, like cell phones and computers, from angels indicating fortune, to zippers denote, denoting problems with friends. Oh, wow. This book remains a truly comprehensive guide that unlocks the hidden meanings of dreams. Um, so Linda Shields is a professional medium and psychic, the author of Angel Inspirations for Serenity and Love, and the co-author of Hat Box series Crystal Power. Oh, okay. I don't know that I've ever heard of that. And Lenore Scomel, a veteran journalist and author, has published 15 books, including Lighthouse, Keeper's Daughter, and Lady Liberty. Very nice. So since we're talking about dreams, I will grab my dream, other dream book that I got. So again, this is a, let's see. Sorry, you're gonna see my ring light a little bit. And also that's my napkin. <laughs> I've, got, I've got some food here. So this is the box set. So let's open it up, put that down there. All right, so this is a hardcover book. I've liked their um, their astrology book so much in their, in their um, tarot book that I thought, well, let me try out the dream one. So it talks about healthy sleep, dream pioneers, dream interpretations of the ages, groundwork for dream recall. Okay, yeah, I remember when I was looking at this at the store, I love that um, they give you tips on dream recall. Which again, I'm pretty, I pretty much remember my dreams, but it's always good to have helpful hints because sometimes it's like on the tip of your like mind <laughs> and then you can't remember um, how do you feel. And then it has different things like it says unfaithful partner, pregnancy, former lover. These are probably mostly like really common ones. Terrorist, childhood home, wooden toys. So all kinds of different things in there, and I love all the illustrations. Their books are very, like, illustrative, is that a word? <laughs> so very nice, being chased, oh my God, I have that all the time. So that is that, and then the journal that came with it. Let's set this guy over here. Also a hardcover how to use this journal, how to decode your dreams. They've got a section right here to write about all your dreams. And then it gives you little prompts like, where are you? Who is in the dream? How do you feel? How does your body feel? What events led up to the dream? Can you dream the dream on? Can you dream the dream on? What does that mean? Like, can you keep going with the dream? Um, I love that they have those little prompts because it helps you like break down the dream. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that's kind of, yes, that is how the entire book is. So very nice. I'm excited as always. I'm always excited. Did I read the back of this? I don't think I did. Okay. So it says, find out how to decode and interpret your dreams to reveal how the images, stories, and emotions you experience in sleep are deeply connected to your waking life. Learn how you can train your mind to access your unconscious and open the gateway to self-discovery. Explore hundreds of dream meanings and shine a light on the unique associations you bring to your dream world. Use your dreams to identify and overcome obstacles. Realize latent talent. Get to the root of how you really feel about the people in your life and much more. Open your eyes to the meaning of your dreams and take advantage of their incredible power for self-improvement. Very nice. Super excited. Down there. All right, and then we have our night school by Maya Toll. On the back it says, Welcome to night school, Firefly. Here you'll explore the furthest reaches of the universe and the deepest parts of yourself. You'll learn to cast off the constraints of the day and open your eyes, your heart, and your mind to the enchanted mystery of the night. You'll travel the world in search of inspiration, timeless wisdom, and essential magic, and don't worry about getting lost. You'll be under the bewitching guide, guidance of the Night Mistress, your guide through the secrets of the starry sky. Woo, look at that. How beautiful is that? So we've got some astrological business there. And I believe that she has a deck. I didn't see that at the story. I totally forgot about that. I'm gonna have to check out and see what the deck's all about. There are no answers, only questions 
enough to fill the night sky. It says B. Marlowe, the night mistress. Who's B. Marlowe? Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, so we've got orientation. I love how this is, this is like school. Orientation, semester one, semester break, office hours, semester two, office hours, and final exams. Oh. Magic is everywhere, <clears throat> excuse me, everywhere. To see it and the effects it has on your life, change the way you perceive the world, to harness it, change the way you interact with the energies around you, to know it, change the way you think, to live it, remember the lessons of the night as you go about your day. All right, let me see if there's, so it talks about your <laughs> prerequisites, gathering your supplies, journal candles, um, somewhere to sit, it sounds like. Probably you want to be close to the outdoors or outdoors. And then it's got some divination tools, it looks like, that you're going to need to gather. New story, new student orientation, so funny. All right. Semester one, the first night of school firefly, midnight foundations. All right, we've got a syllabus. <laughs> Uh, I just love how it's laid out. Super cute. And hopefully you guys can see this decently well. I, again, I don't know why it looks dark on my camera, but like where I see it down here, it's super bright. So Ooh, we got some chakra business there. Law of forgetfulness and what to do about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're back. Divination, harnessing the celestial tides. There is some astrology stuff there. More astrology, scrying, final exams. Anyway, so I thought this looked really cool and I like Maya Toll. Um, like I said, I took her whenever I went to her one of her witch camps online and um, back in the day day, it was, it was cool. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna check this out. So that is our night school book and it's a hard cover. I don't know if you guys noticed that. And then the last book I got was Psychic Witch. Again, not a new book, but he, I believe he, is coming out with a new book. And so I was like, I'm going to read this one so I can be prepared for the next one. Maybe not needed, but I'm going to do it anyways. All right, so it says, Uncover the Secrets to Becoming a Powerful Psychic Witch. Popular writer and witch Matt Aaron, I'm assuming that's how you say that. I don't really know reveals his most closely guarded tips, practices, and meditations for unlocking your psychic abilities and elevating your witchcraft into exciting new territory. Featuring over 90, 90, 9, 0, 90, 90, whatever, exercises, <laughs> this groundbreaking book helps your magic and your senses reach their full potential. Witchcraft and psychism are two sides of the same coin. They complement and strengthen one another. Psychic Witch provides everything you need to not only master the perception and manipulation of energy, but also to perform magic anywhere at any given, excuse me, I can't, I'm just making shit up, to perform magic anywhere and at any time. This ingenious book teaches you how to use subtle energy in ways and manifest your perceptions into instant magical results. So Matt Aaron is a witch, writer, psychic, and occult teacher. He is an initiate of Black Rose Witchcraft and a priest in the Sacred Fires tradition of witchcraft. He writes the blog for Puck's Sake on Pantheos Pagan, has a column in Witches and Pagans and Horns magazine, and is a contributor to Modern Witch and the Witch's Almanac. Visit him online at mattaaron.com. So again, I will link all of the books that I got for you in case you are interested in them. And thank you so much guys for hanging out with me a little bit more today. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment guys, it really helps out my channel. Which book are you most interested in? I'd love to hear. And have you read any of these books? What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And again, guys, if you're a subscriber already, I really appreciate you. And stay tuned. I will be bringing you guys the giveaway that I promised at 1,000 subscribers. It is coming. I am going through all my things um, this week, and I hopefully will have that video out for you guys. And... 
Thanks again. <laughs> that is it, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.